What's up guys, Cinestalker or Cinesanta is here to share with you my thoughts and opinions of what I like to watch during the Christmas holiday season. Some of my favorites, which I like to do this every year, but I've been doing this like maybe the past few years or so. Some recommendations for you guys to check out, or maybe some things I've never heard of before. And it's what I like to watch, you know, that's what I have to do around this time of year, the Yule time, time of year. Man, put the bit, we warm up my hands by the fire. Man, boy, it's cold right here. It's cold. It's a cold one here in San Diego. But anyway, let's get down to it. I'm all on my, you know, feeling comfy, feeling comfy, and uh, things like that festive out here. Hope you guys are doing great. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe to the notification ring button. If you guys are new to it, make sure you subscribe if you like. And let's get down to it right now. So I got a bunch of stuff from old school VHS and a very special one I'm gonna share with you guys at the end of the video. My, my probably one of my favorite VHSs in my collection and it's taped from TV, but it's just amazing thing that I have here since my childhood. So I'm gonna share, share that one with you at the very end. But I got other VHSs, I got some DVDs, I got some Blu-rays, I don't think no 4Ks, no 4Ks, but we got everything else. And so let's get down to it right now. All right, before I get started, you're gonna kick it off with some good old eggnog, some brand new eggnog, whatever the heck is this? Eggnog pie, never heard of eggnog pie in my life, but you gotta have a little bit of eggnog in your life to, you know, kick it off and get in this festive fun up here. Oop, trying to get this open. But yeah, you're gonna love this time of year. It's always fun, you know, with, so you get some eggnog, some drinks, candy, fun, things like that. Just need to get the decorations going and all that good stuff and pop it on your favorite Christmas film. But here we go. Pour some lovely eggnog. Oh yeah. Maybe just about right about there. <laughs> yeah. Good like that. And here we go. And cheers to you all out there. And uh, have a good one. Let's get going. Smell the eggnog. Oh, how's that very egg eggnoggy? Gotta love you. Gotta love me some eggnog. I mean, I don't know if you guys like eggnog. Eggnog's pretty damn good. Put you with liquor in it. Mm. No liquor right now, though. I need some rum and brandy. I don't have that right now, so we're just gonna drink it like this. But anyway, now we're ready. I kind of just go through these randomly right now. I'm gonna start off with you know, let's go with some family fun ones. A couple of them, or maybe two or three, and after that, move to the horror stuff. So. Let's start off with an all-time classic, which plays for like 24 hours on AMC, and that is A Christmas Story. Can't go wrong with A Christmas Story. You'll shoot your eye out, kid! So, you know, it's just a great, fun story of uh, Ralphie, you know, him right over there. He wants to get a BB gun for Christmas, and everyone says he'll shoot his eye out. Everyone knows the story of this classic up here, but, you know, get the old classic VHS cover of it. It's always a must. It's always on, on, on TV all the time. It's like they play for 24 hours on Christmas Eve through Christmas Day. I love it. It's tra tradition for the past, what, over 20 years they've been doing that. And yes, you got to have that in the collection. And next up here is one that is very great and uh, cringe to my heart. And that is uh, right up here. That is, we wish you a turtle Christmas. Um, fantastically bad in all its glory is this. When you watch this, you want to have a drink. Um, yeah, you gotta have a drink and watch this thing. It's, it's pretty cringe. Great garbage, uh, horribly sang songs, but I love it because it's so bad. And it's festive fun for all you turtle power needs out there. That's what this is. Great stuff. This is right when turtles Right after they became um, gone after this, it kind of just, just kind of killed them off for a while and then they came back again. But this is, yeah, good stuff. They look kind of weird looking in it too. They have a weird faces, but yeah, fantastically bad. Another one up here, which I got the other day, which you guys saw me get like a couple weeks ago. This is a fun set, you know, it's like a nice, you know, cool set. I guess you have on Blu-ray, but it's just DVD ones of it. That is, you know, Home Alone, Christmas Carol, Jingle All the Way, and Miracle on 34th Street, the 94 version of it. It's some, Fun stuff. I'm not sure what these, these probably look kind of like whatever 
you know, DVD kind of look, you know, but they're just cool. Just to have, pretty much got it for Jingle All The Way, you know, up there. But uh, these are just, you know, just cool to have. You know, get some, you know, some goodness. These are always a must just to watch. I love it. You know, love, love me some Home Alone. I remember watching it in the theater as a kid with my uh, grandma and my mom. Uh, fantastic memories of that. I can't believe that movie is what, like uh, 30 years old now, Home Alone? Man, that makes me feel old, man. That thing's 30 years old. Whew, man, that's crazy. But yeah, good stuff, classic, all good ones in this set. So when I saw that for sale, like I had to buy it. Just get, you know, just to have, you know, it's always, it's cool. And another family fun one, one of my all-time favorites ever, and probably my, my favorite Santa Claus ever played, and that is this one up here. And Santa Claus the movie with David Huddleston right here. Um, he fortunately passed away. Actually, a few people passed away. Like Dudley Moore passed away in this thing uh, years ago, and he passed away a few years back. But he played an amazing Santa Claus. Loved this movie. Great music uh, from uh, Sheena Easton. Um, I forget the name of the song, but like, uh, somehow, you know, it's a good, fantastic Christmas song. And just some great stuff is this. Uh, just, I, I love it. Uh, this says there's some good uh, behind the scenes commentary track on this thing too, really interesting. But it's a great movie, pretty much like, uh, that's pretty much like almost like a commercial to McDonald's also in this thing. But just a fun one to have. How Santa Claus's origins happened, and how he became. Kind of starts off like that. You get Burgess Meredith in this thing. You know, he passed away a long time ago. And then later on, he gets like this this, uh, this homeless kid and this girl, and he kind of befriends the homeless kid, Santa Claus. And then, and all these things happen. John Lithgow's character is like this Ebenezer Scrooge guy, and it wants to take over uh, the world in a sense with uh, people flying on candy canes when they eat them. It's just it's just crazy, but it's great. Love this one. So 80s, so good. Friggin', it's uh, it's 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 Christmas. All over the world this year, do do do. It's like some sort of song, like it's a song, like a. It gets you in the feels. That song, it really does. Uh, great, great memories of this. Watching this with my uh, grandparents, of course, my mom. Love this one. Fantastic. You ever seen it? Definitely watch it. It is amazing. They should play it more often. I don't know why they don't, but this one is fantastic. Here we have a nice little handful of some family fun movies. Let's go into the horror stuff of Christmas horror, which is a fantastic genre. My, one of my favorite genres outside regular horror is Christmas horror. It's just fantastic. It's great. You know, Santa Claus is the kill. And speaking of that, we got this set up here, which I think the very first episode of the classic TV show from HBO, Tales from the Crypt, you got the Santa Claus one, which is that one right there. Right there, so good. Escape loony crazy guy puts on a Santa suit and just kills people with an axe. Fantastic, great story, great one. This is the you know, first season of Tales from the Crypt. I said, I think that's I'm pretty sure that's the first episode of that thing. Classic. I ever watched it as a kid, freaked me out, loved it though, and it's a must to watch every year. Speaking of classics and must watches, it is these collection of films that is the Silent Night, Deadly Night series. These are just great, cheesy fun. You know, we got them all up here. I know there's, I know there's a Blu-ray of it, but I got me the old DVD versions of it. And I think these are just on DVD themselves. But just, I love these ones. I love these movies. They're so bad. I even have the little action figure over there. Um, just, you know, great. Sign you know, Deadly Night. Um, the kid, he sees his parents get killed by a Santa Claus. He they, they goes into a foster home. And he has these terrible... He's tormented by the, the nightmares of that time. And then later on, he works at a toy shop. And it's just great. It's very nostalgia. And with the whole toy shop, with all the cool toys in the back, with like He-Man stuff and G.I. Joe's and whatever. And then he's forced to wear a Santa Claus outfit, which he didn't want to do. And that gets him like traumatized, kind of. And he starts drinking, and he just snaps, and just starts killing people. Because you've been, you've been naughty. You've been naughty. And the sequels are just great and fun and cheese. Fantastic. Bill Mosley and some of them, Clint Howard's and some of these ones. Great stuff. You know, Sunday Night like 2. Good stuff. Garbage Day. You know, it's, just, it's it's great. These are just great to watch. These are a must to watch every Christmas are these. You just you gotta you just gotta do it. Oh yeah. Mm. I could really use some booze in that thing, but I don't have the right booze for it. It happens. I'll get it, I'll get it soon enough. I messed up on that one. And also right up here. I'll get some stuff. We get some stuff. Oh yeah, right up here. Also, right up here. Bam. 
we got the good old Jack Frost DVD. This is the old Jack Frost DVD. They even have it on course. VHS also, it's missing, it's missing a lenticular, unfortunately, but don't worry. I got part two with that lenticular. Look at that thing. Look, at, look I love how that looks. Great fun Jack Frost. The guy's a crazy guy. He's like transported. He's going to a one prison or some crap like that. And then um, his, he dies and his blood or whatever gets mixed with this chemical stuff and it's in the snow. and becomes a killer snowman, dang it. And just kills and part two is really bad and it's just great and they're like in some like island and stuff. It's just fun cheese. And it's the old DVD of it because it's just, you know, it looks cool. This used to be really rare back when, but not anymore. I get on Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome, I believe. But these are just great ones to have in the collection. You know, these are just fun, fun cheesiness are these, you know, good comedy. You got Sharon Elizabeth in the bathtub scene of this thing. Oh yeah, it's, that's a good scene. That is a, that's a good scene. But yeah, good stuff up here. Oh yes. And that is Santa Slay, starring WCW wrestler Bill Goldberg. Plays a Santa Claus that just kills. And it's like over the top, just ridiculous movie. Um, good stuff. I just want to get it on DVD because sometimes they don't play it on on TV, and sometimes it's not streaming. Sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So I just wanted to have it finally and just get it. And yeah, I've watched this for a couple of years, but so yeah, this is good stuff though. Yeah, it's just good stuff. You know, here's the back of it. Fantastically bad and, and glorious. It's still like it's not even open up. It's still taped up right there. Hope the disc is right when there. I don't know. We'll find. We'll find out soon enough. I'll find out soon enough. It's 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 all taped. It's all, yeah, it's just, it's just tape. See, it's like, it has tape on it. I didn't even tape it up. But I didn't even open up the tape yet. That happens. But this is a good one. Great fun stuff. I've watched this a handful of times years back. And now it's mine. And I'm going to watch it probably tomorrow. And just watch Bill Goldberg suplex people and kill people. We're going to jump back to some family goodness and some family fun entertainment. And that is this great comedy, which I watched the other day with my mom after Thanksgiving. This is a wholesome comedy for the whole family, and that is Bad Santa. Great comedy for the whole family. It's not that bad. The language, is it's, it's not that bad. No, it's actually very vulgar. Um, it just, there's so much cuss words in this thing. So many F-bombs, it's fantastic. Hilarious, I haven't watched this in years. We popped it on, we cracked up. Great movie, man. Dude, I haven't watched this, I watched this in a long time. Watched it last week. It was, this is great. Bad Santa, yeah, this is, this is good. So funny. And then, of course, you're going to have some, a couple of fun ones. you got to have the all-time classic, great speed of comedy. One of the best ones ever for Christmas. Might be the best one. And that is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I had to get this like a, you know, a couple weeks ago over at uh, FYE. And this is awesome. So I can't wait to pop this in. This what looks like the still book of it. You know, it was like only 10 bucks on sale. Had to get, even though they play the hell out of this on AMC. But... It is uh, always cut some of the bad words. Like, we have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas ever since uh, Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny Blank and K. So, yeah, so that is a great line. Love it. And this has a commentary track on here with the cast, except for Chevy Chase. He's on the commentary of Chevy Chase in this thing, unfortunately. I thought he was, but he's not. But that's cool. I'm down. I can't wait to pop this on. See how it looks on Blu ray. Yes. I know they play all the time, but. To own it, it's just cool, and yeah, this is just a must. I remember watching this on HBO a long time ago for the first time, years, years ago. We recorded it. I wish I still had that tape. I loved it ever since. This is just it's so funny. Cracks me up. Love it. This reminds me of sometimes, like, probably you guys too, some of your family, with your family back, your relatives. Some of them remind you of some of the characters in this thing. Just, it's great. I love it. It just <laughs> it cracks me up, you know. Good. Good stuff. Love the good. Love the the grandma character that like mixes in the cat food and the Jello. Yeah, great stuff. And of course, speaking of classics, you gotta have this one. That is the uh, James Stewart, Jimmy Stewart. And that is it's a wonderful life. We got this last year on Steelbook. Phone actually, I got a new copy of it this year too on Blu-ray. Also, but this is just you know love that that Steelbook looks all time classic. We were watching this as a kid. Uh, you know, it's a black and white movie, but it don't matter. It is classic. You know, just a great story, great uh, message in a movie. Man, it is, it's just fantastic. I love it. Because every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. And this is just a all-time classic movie. You haven't watched it. I don't know what you're doing. You got to watch it. And this is one to watch every year. It's like a tradition. You just, you just got to do it. 
for this one is, it's so good. I used to go to the, the theatrical ballet of this with my grandparents a long time ago. Loved this, loved it ever since. It has the Nutcracker, the Nutcracker Suite. Great one, love this uh, ballet, the music, all time classic, you know, just by uh, Tchaikovsky. Remember when I was a kid, I wanted to get a Nutcracker for Christmas, so my uncle uh, got me one for Christmas, and I was like, I don't know, seven probably, or something like that. I was like, I need to get a Nutcracker. I don't know why, but I was obsessed with Nutcrackers after watching this you know, ballet and seeing this thing too. This movie, kind of creepy uh, movie too. Really good, I got this like a year or two ago, a couple years back. And I'm so happy because like it's a really good, really good stuff. Definitely check this out. If you haven't seen this, this it's made in the 80s. Really fantastic. Um, yeah, love it. There's even another Nutcracker a movie that has Macaulay Culkin in it. That was in the 90s. This one's from the 80s. I prefer this one more than the Macaulay Culkin one. But that's just some fun cringe. But this is like, you know, Nutcracker. I love it. I don't care. Nutcrackers are awesome. Santa with Muscles. Fun cheese Hulk Hogan movie. Santa with Muscles. Good, bad, yeah, it's, you know, it's Clint Howard in this thing. Thunder in Paradise, Hulk Hogan, you get right up here. And this one I got last year, uh, I thought it was pretty f entertaining, but that was Mel Gibson and Fat Man. So I'm gonna watch this again this year for sure. It was, it was a pretty cool, like, action Santa movie with this, this, uh, this kid. He wants to, like, he's just obsessed with, uh, he's like a bad kid, and he wants to, like, hire a hitman to kill Santa because he's been bad, because he's been bad. And Santa has his own ways about him. He has, he's like, he knows what's, he's like trained uh, to kill Santa Claus in a sense. So it's just, it's really funny. Uh, old Saint Nick in this one. Definitely check it out. It's kind of a, it's kind of not for everyone, but I, I enjoy this one. Fat Man, I thought it was pretty fun. I can't wait to watch this one again. Now let's go jump to some horror stuff right here. A few other horror ones gonna have. And this one right here, here we go. Nice classic horror one. One of the first I believe horror Christmas movies. These that's very early, early stuff. Um, that is this great slasher one. That is Christmas Evil. Love that cover. Great um, variant cover from this from the original. Um, there's other other tapes of it. Other some DVDs and Blu-rays of this thing. But I love how this cover looks. It just pops. Great movie of this uh, guy who works at a toy factory. Kind of just cracks up. And just goes on a, a killing spree, killing the, the bad people he thinks are bad. And it, in a weird ending of it, very trippy ending. Um, it sort of reminds me of like a long slasher version of a Twilight Zone episode. Is that that is this? And this is good stuff. Uh, but yeah, the very first one I believe is Black Christmas, which I do have there somewhere. I, could, I couldn't find it, but I think it does mean the '70s Black Christmas. So that's probably gonna, definitely the very first I think Christmas slasher. Right? It's gonna be Black Christmas. This is made like, I think 1980 or something was this one, but here's like the tape. So yeah, good stuff. Love how that looks. So good, like this is like, smells like, kind of smells like butter. Like a video store, but butter. It smells like that, how fitting, right? A, a movie, it smells like butter. Good stuff, Christmas Evil. Yeah, it's, it's I, I enjoy this one. The one up here, which I started watching a handful of years when I first got this on tape. It's now, it's now on Blu-ray from Arrow Video. That's Trapped Alive, has these, uh, like, I think they're sisters on Christmas Eve party, and things go wrong, they, their car breaks down, and then these weird escape convicts get him. And they go like this mining cave thing, there's like this weird mutant guy that wants to kill them all. So they kind of like help each other out, it's really strange, but I, I enjoy this one. Pretty good stuff, it's Trapped Alive, I like it. And then another, the, one of the, the last one I'm gonna talk about for horror, the horror stuff, and it's like my all time, one of my all time favorites is this for uh, cheesy goodness. And that's Dan Haggerty in Elves. This one is uh, great. Uh, it's so it's so bad, it's good. Get Dan, Dan Haggerty, classic actor. And this movie pretty much has a cigarette in every scene, which is great. Um, about this, this elf uh, character. He's sort of like uh, bioengineered from old Nazis back in World War II. And they unearth him. Uh, they do like a ceremony thing and they unearth this elf and they try to make this master race with an elf and this guy, scientist's daughter. And it's very strange twist with twin the trout that's, it's kind of weird, the twist of it. And it's the whole thing is really bizarre. And Dan Haggerty's there to save the day and rescue the world from rabid neo-Nazi elves that might take over the world. Um, yeah, 
good cheese is this. This is not available on DVD or Blu-ray. Only the tape world might, might be on YouTube, but this is a pretty rare tape. I got this for a dollar years ago at a video store here. I explained before in San Diego Superfast video four or six, Superfast video six, sorry. And yeah, so I'm happy. I'm glad I got this. I'm glad. I'm glad I got this. I'm glad. I'm glad I got this. This is a good one. Thank God I got this one. This one's. This one's a good one. Here comes Santa Claus. A nice, neat one is this uh, French movie. Pretty weird. Um, good music in this thing. Mm, little dust bunnies. Little dust bunnies, right? Little dust bunnies. And the dust in the tapes is kind of got me right there. But I think I'm good. Now. I, think, I think I'm good. But yeah, this one. It's an enchanting adventure, folks. Very enchanting. You got Santa Claus. Um, you got these two kids. They want to like go to Santa because they, they miss their parents. And it's just these weird songs. And it's just, it's fantastic. It's an ogre that wants to like uh, eat that, eat the kidnaps the kids, wants to eat them. It's very strange. So Santa is there to the rescue. And it's just odd stuff. You even get Santa in Africa, in the hot deserts of Africa, wearing a Santa Claus suit. That is strange because it's like, man, Santa Claus in a hot Africa desert, but they have it in here. It's fantastic. Great one is this. I love it because it has the old price tag like I showed you guys in my last video. Love it. Pretty rare one is this. Love that stuff. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about this. And I get the tape of it too, but I'm sure the DVD of it first. And that is the Claymation Special right up here with featuring the California Raisins. Um, great 80s by Will Vinton up here. Great um, claymation artist. And yeah, this is good stuff. Good, good stuff. Uh, great. I think it's like a half hour long. It's a shame they don't play it anymore. It really is. Like this is one they should play all the every year. It's up there with Rudolph, I think. It's a super good, I love this one. Great music in it, great visuals. I have the old tape of it. That is this right up here. The old tape from like the late 80s my grandma recorded. And this has some of the commercials on it. And it even has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer right up here. So let me give you guys a treat and show a couple of clips of this right now on the TV before we go because that's my gift to you is showing some old school stuff right here. And there it is, the claymation dinosaurs. Fantastic, fantastic. There you go, Wassilene, but let's go check out some of these commercials, huh? Oh, remember this classic, my first Sony? Oh. That's right, my, look at that, cassette recorders, baby. That's how, that's how, 80s style, yes. The special guest of the show, you get the California Raisins. Fun fruit dinosaurs, yes. Look at that. Creepy cool, look at that. Oh, one more classic goodie. Look at this, 7 Up one. Yes, the L's with the 7 Up. Classic, oh, oh yes. So good. I want a 7 Up right now while I'm watching this. Yes, I do. And all right, on that note, hope you guys enjoyed that. And a little bonus of some of those old retro commercials. So just, you know, a couple, a few little snippets. You guys, there was videos. So this stuff I'm going to be watching this Christmas and some other stuff too, probably. But that's like my must things I always got to watch for this time of year. And always some other stuff too, like I said. But anyway, like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And uh, let me know down below what kind of must watches you guys have to check out all the time too. Let me know. I'm curious. And that's it. Have a good one, y'all. And make sure you guys are good because I'll know if you're naughty or nice. As soon as Santa will know. I'm checking the list and I'm checking it twice. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. P.S. One more tape. This one up here. How, how do I forget this? The Night They Save Christmas. This one's classic. Great made for TV one. Love it. Good stuff. Yeah, check this one out if you haven't seen it. Now, time to go, and I'll catch you later. I'll see ya.